Well, 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 we get to hear some more insight and, well, the views on Hayden Christensen weighing in about, you know, should Mace Windu ever return? And anybody who's watched episodes one through and, well, one, two, and three feels like, you know, of course he should return. It's effing Sam Jackson. Hello there. You know, yeah, cheap Obi-Wan, but I'm um, kind of getting the beard going. I haven't shaved in a couple weeks. And, uh, okay, my buddy Admiral Nelson, he's cheap and effective and, you know, just gets the job done. So, anybody who's watched episodes 1, 2, and 3 knows the character of Mace Windu. Portrayed by the, the legend, the man himself, Sam Jackson. I named him Sam Jackson. The first Jedi with a friggin' purple lightsaber. Um, you know, in the first film, you didn't get to see him much besides being on the council, but then episode two, then leading into episode three, he did a lot of combat, and, uh, you know, I love the character of Mace Windu because, you know, again, I'm always not the biggest Star Wars fan, but if you do some reading and some lore, Mace Windu is just, you know, a, a pure badass, you know, he created this own, his own, um, Jedi combat stance that was specifically for him, and just, I guess it was some kind of blend between the dark side and the light side, and just, you know, it's Sam Jackson, it's Mace Windu, it, it was awesome. Awesome! But since then, if anybody, you know, actually watched the prequels, unlike the people that wrote the current Kenobi series, that was cold um, you would see that, you know, freaking Mace Windu's fate was Anakin cutting off his hand, and then, of course, Palpatine hitting him with the Force Lightning, <laughs> and knocking him off this ledge, and everybody felt that Mace Windu died. Sam Jackson has said in the past 15 years that he would love to come back as Mace Windu in some, you know, capacity. And also that Jedis have, you know, been known to, like, jump off, you know, very tall heights and stuff and land and survive. And he's not wrong. I mean, I'm to the point now with Sam Jackson. He is a little bit older, but why not bring Mace back and just, you know what, Kenobi has destroyed so much canon that at this point, fuck it, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> you pretty much ruined my childhood. So let's see what our buddy Hayden has to say. Hayden Christensen weighs in on Mace Windu's Revenge of the Sith fate. Obi-Wan Kenobi star Hayden offers his thoughts on Jedi Master Mace Windu's fate in Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Disney Plus's Obi-Wan series brought back several characters from the Star Wars prequel trilogy and revealed many fan-favorite characters that actually survived the Jedi Purge. The only exception appears to be Jedi Master Mace Windu, which the fanbase has a theory about. <laughs> In an interview with TV, MTV News, actor Hayden Christensen offered his thoughts about theories suggesting one of Anakin Skywalker's most powerful masters may have survived, a theory Windu actor Samuel L. Jackson himself seems to believe. Here comes Hayden. If Sam Jackson wants it to be true, I wouldn't want to disagree with that, Christensen said. Smart man. <laughs> Jackson himself has commented on Windu's potential return before dismissing arguments that it is beyond the realm of possibility. There's a huge history of people with one hand returning, he's not wrong, of one hand returning in Star Wars, Jackson previously stated. Going further, he revealed he has approached some of the creatives within Star Wars to bring the Jedi back. He said, the only person I've ever said that to about coming back was Bryce Dallas Howard, because I just did a movie with her, and she directs episodes of The Mandalorian, so you think you might be able to hook her brother up? I mean, you like me, right? She's like, I love you, you're amazing. We love you. Put me back in there. Put me in coach. I'm ready. You know, I'll learn to lightsaber left hand. Come on, hook me up. I mean, you know, Luke did give like a press, well, not prosthetic, a droid hand. So, you know, he can still keep his uh, keep right hand. Mace Windu made his theatrical debut in Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. And while it was a relatively minor part, Jackson went on to appear in the subset. Uh, well, some words are hard to pronounce. Subsequent two films. Can't talk. Goddamn Admiral. <laughs> playing a key role in Anakin Skywalker's transformation into Darth Vader. In Revenge of the Sith, Windu dueled with the Sith Lord, Darth Sidious, and might have won had it not been for Anakin's intervention. I've watched that scene, I don't care, I'm still going with Mace had him beat and just, uh, you know, Anakin had to save the day for Palpatine. <laughs> Desperate to save Padme, Anakin saved the future em Emperor's life, slicing off Windu's hand and allowing Palpatine to electrocute the Jedi and throw him from the window. Windu's body is never shown, at and for a long time, it was assumed the Jedi Master had perished. I mean, you know, that's what it seemed to be, but... 
With, with the first season of Obi-Wan Kenobi having recently come to a close, there has been speculation about whether or not a second season will ever hit Disney+. Plus. While that was not a part of the original plan, yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys, you know it comes down to the ratings and shit. Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy recently expressed an openness to the idea. Of course she did. She said, I think if there's if there's huge engagement and people really want to really want more Obi-Wan, we'll certainly give that consideration because the fans, they speak to us. Yeah, they speak to you all right, lady. <laughs> Your show sucks. And if we feel like, okay, there's a real reason to do this, it's answering the why then, then we'll do it. But we'll see. Sure. Bullshit. And uh, at this point, I don't know. I mean, God, 10 years ago, I would have said yes. And uh, when it was back in George Lucas's hands, but Jesus Christ, after seeing what they did to Obi-Wan, do I actually want to see Mace Windu come back? And probably fucking not. Because, Jesus, what you just did to Vader, Obi-Wan, Qui-Gon. Look what they did to my boy. <laughs> they massacred my boy. What are you really going to freaking have Mace doing? Like, oh, let me guess. Mace is going to have some new female sidekick that's going to be leading him around the entire series. And he'll be wandering and be old and pathetic and worthless. And maybe, maybe one episode he'll get to use the Force. And, uh... You know, Sam Jackson is an older actor. I would say his ego when he's Sam Jackson would stop that from happening. But then again, he loves Mace Windu in Star Wars and Disney. He might just say, screw, I'll just play a shitty version of Mace Windu. Just like we got of Obi-Wan and Luke Skywalker. But, you know. And, uh, yeah, I just, I, <laughs> I wish I could be excited for this. If he comes back, cool. I just, I'm not banking on it. But uh, it's just cool seeing Hayden. Hayden's like, if the man wants it, give it to the man. I can't disagree. But... And we agree. As always, guys, quick little news review. Had a freaking long day. Hope you're having a good weekend. And just, I'm still loving my new intro. And just, as always, going to finish this up, get some errands done, take a quick nap, and, uh... I have work to do. I'm heading back to work. Man, it's powerful. 18% alcohol. <laughs>